The day you guys have been waiting for is finally here. The Cup Car 2.0 dash is done. Well, kinda. If you've been following the channel for a while, you already know I obsess over every detail. The dash for Cup Car 2.0 is no different. It had to be just right. The old version was pretty good, but the new version had to be like absolutely perfect. So I've spent several videos and a lot of time just agonizing over making sure every detail of this build was just right. And today I have the final product to share with you guys. But before we do, I thought I would share with you guys a couple of the previous builds. First off, the one from the original Cup Car build. And second off, the one that you've probably seen on TikTok or Instagram or Facebook if you follow on there. But even if you've seen that one, you probably haven't seen the newest version. Oh yeah, and for those of you that have been waiting to get your grubby little hands on my STL files, I'm going to drop those at the same time as this video, so they'll be available to all the Third Wheel exclusive channel members. You can find that link in the description. So I'm not sure if I've ever fully shared the original cup car dash off of the rig once the button box was done and everything. I might have. But if I haven't, this is the original build. And as you can see, first off, the button box is massive. These are 33 by 33 millimeter buttons, so they're huge. They should be more like 16 to 21, like something a little more reasonable. But the overall box is just gigantic. And then, of course, the dash itself looks really flat. The lower part that should curve under the wheelbase is super thin. And overall, like, there were just a lot of things about this dash that looked good on the car, but at the same time missed on full immersion. And then, of course, the terrible wrap job, the weird curvatures over here. Like, there's a lot of issues with this dash. So, for Cup Car 2.0, I wanted to design something more realistic and something that would look a lot better. So let me show you guys the next version that I came up with for the new rig. Now I started out fairly committed to this version. You can see the lower part's got a lot more concave and it actually does go under the wheelbase like it should. And then on the upper part, you can see it blends into the screen a bit better, but I hadn't gotten around to printing that right side yet. I was kind of still working on trying to figure out if I liked everything about this version. So you can see, first off, We've got some separation here. This piece is just way too large. And overall, the left side didn't blend the way I wanted it to. That's how the lap timer ended up right there. And it was like, it's decent, but it still wasn't right. So I wanted to do something perfect because I know you guys have been anticipating this being a really immersive, realistic dash. So I wanted to take things a step further. And here it is, guys. Dash 2.0 for Cup Car 2.0. Now, I'm really happy with the way the, the print came out. The STL files, I think, are great, and the design for me is exactly what I was looking for. The only flaw with this is actually what I'm going to do with the finishes. So I've been thinking like maybe a carbon fiber skin or something along those lines for the top part because for those of you that know me well or have followed the channel for a bit, you know when it comes to the tedious more like hand skilled work. I have no patience for wrapping or soldering, things like that. And I'm just not good at it. So I'm thinking if I could have somebody professionally cover this. The other part is down here at the bottom. I would like to have maybe either Alcantara or I was thinking about doing body filler and painting it. But either way, I think like the finishing part, I might actually let somebody with more skill than me do just to make sure that it looks 100% accurate and looks perfect on the rig. But overall, I feel like it came out really well. For the first time ever, I'll actually have a functioning air vent because I got the hole in the back in the right spot. So it'll go under the monitor and I don't have to worry about that being in the way. So functional airflow, I've got a cutout right here. I'm still gonna work on designing this, but this is where the start button's gonna drop in and that'll be like, a realistic position for you know the cup car build and for the start button and then over here this is a more realistic size button box basically i'll build the face for it and build the button box and then it'll just slip right over the top i've already pre-drilled holes you can't see them under the wrap but there are holes pre-drilled both for the brake bias knob and to mount the plate on and overall i'm just a lot happier with how this has come out so far so what I'm looking forward to doing is getting it on the rig and showing you guys how it looks when it's put on. So one of the big points I wanted to make in designing this was being able to swap the dash out. I want to be able to race other cars and have dashes designed for them. So as you can see, that's not bolted down. It just slips in really snug. 
and it just works. So all I have to do is pop the wheel off and I can slide the dash out and slide a new one on. I think that's going to be huge for just being able to race other cars and get that level of immersion. Now getting you guys behind the wheel, you can see how well everything just kind of lines up exactly where I wanted it to. The one flaw you might notice right above the button box, you could see a little bit of the on-screen button box. It's not very much of it, and I think they, my in-game settings might be a little different than my wallpaper, so it might align a little bit better. If not, though, I was also considering putting the lap timer on that side rather than doing it over here on the left side. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I put the lap timer over here? As far as the rest of the dash goes, you can see how snug it fits in. And the one thing that I didn't get quite right was I didn't curve it to the 1500R monitor, but sitting behind the wheel, you can't really tell. If I decide to reprint the top for any reason, then I may add a little more curvature to it, and fill in that gap. It's just not something I'm really that worried about right now. I think it looks really good the way it is. And dropping down here below the wheel, you could see how much larger the bottom is than even the second version I printed. I just feel like it fits exactly the way it should now. It, like that's how your dash in your car typically is. And I just think it looks a whole lot better. So like I mentioned, I still need to come up with some plans for the actual finishes on the dash, but overall, I feel pretty good about it. I'd love to hear in the comments how you guys feel if you think it came out right. Did I meet the expectations that I promised for this dash? And are you guys excited to get it on your rig? Now, obviously, I still have a button box to design, and I also want to do a little bit of an extension off to the right of the dash that's like the little cutout that the nets will go through and connect. And that's some things that I'm going to put off for a little bit down the road, because right now I really want to start working on the roof without having the rig fully enclosed it just doesn't feel like it's coming to life the way I want it to and I feel like that enclosure really needs to be a priority at this point so I'm going to get started on that as soon as possible and I'll update you guys as we go along and of course none of this would be possible on the level it is if I didn't have great sponsors behind me I'm so appreciative to the brands that have jumped in to help and support if you guys want to show them some love you'll find them down in the description you can also find that link to sign up for the membership page so you can get access to the STL files there if you guys aren't already following this build make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and until next time, I'll see you out on the track.